Yeah, we are from Center for Airborne Systems DRDO. I'm Dr. Rajesh and these are my colleagues Dipu, Gandhi and uh, Nagaraju and Sharat. So what we have brought here is an airborne electro-optic infrared system which is uh, having multiple cameras and laser payloads. So what we have done here is we have enabled AI on that devices. So uh, by when we say we have enabled AI, there are two technologies that goes into it. We have developed an automatic target recognition module, so or which works on the video streams and get projected to the operator. So the operator can identify the targets of interest from the camera videos. The second uh, aspect we have brought in is we have done online video fusion of uh, the electro-optic and infrared images. So the interpretability or the workload of the operator comes down and he gets a better situational awareness. So these are the basic technologies and this gets projected to operator screens like that where operator gets a composite picture of uh, the map display, the video display, the raw video display and the AI enabled display. This is the overall. Uh, so this technology is already in use? Yes. How does artificial intelligence play a role here? Uh, artificial intelligence is a quantum gem because it provides the identification of the target on video streams and the fusion which reduces the operator workload and improves the efficiency, uh, which otherwise would have been done by correlating with various databases and other conventional techniques. So this is more efficient. So what would be the future upgrades? Uh uh, future upgrades are there are a lot of uh, other AI applications that can be done on the, uh, the either the fused image or on the ATR. Like we can understand what class of target it is to the exact target that is so that the counter actions can be taken in a very effective way. So these are the newer ones which are coming up.